guys, Denise and Lazy came out in Homestead. Well, um, what I'm going to do right now is forage for some uh, poke salad. Let me hear the turkeys in the back. We've got it here, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this around so you can see what I'm talking about. Here is poke salad. This is very small. I've already cut the um, petals or leaves that I wanted. We're going to let this grow till next week. And yes, it can be poisonous, but you have to uh, know when to pick it. And right now, when it's very young and very tender, this is blackberries right here, but that poke salad is right there. And if you leave it, it'll actually grow into a bush. And then you can cut the bush back or just let it die, and then it'll come back. And you can forage for that. Um, we do that every year. And I, in this video, hi girls, I hear ya. <laughs> Turkeys are like, what are you doing? Here's some more over here. And you can see that that was an old bush from last year. And this is what it looks like. And you don't want it to get any higher than about a foot. Uh, after that, you don't want to harvest the leaves because they can uh, make you sick. And so I've got some in the house, and I'm going to show you what we need to do with them in order to cook them. So let's go in the house. Okay, I'm back in the house. And what I wanted to show you is, let me put this over here so you can actually see what I'm doing. Here's what the pile of leaves that I got. I took all the leaves off of the stems because you really don't want to cook the stems. They'll be bitter. This is about as big as you want to get your leaf. I would say that is the maximum. Um, there's little tenderettes that I call them that are like that, that are perfect. But these, these will also be good. But you don't want them any bigger than that. And they will get really big and turn into a bush. And what you're going to do is, like I said, cut it away from the stem, rinse them really good in cold water. Now I've got some fresh water here, and I'm just going to go ahead and put my leaves in. And we are going to boil these three times. Each time, I'm going to take them out of the water, and I'll drain the water, and I'll rinse them in cold water and do it again. And that takes any of the bitterness out of it. And um, there is something in there that can make you sick if you don't um, do it this way. And I've been making poke salad for, gosh, well, 51 years. I just turned 65. So, And um, I'm not sure if it grows all over the place, but I was raised in the South. And I know that we have it here, and I always look for it. And a lot of times you'll find it in new ground or if you leave the bushes grow like we did because we we love our poke salad and so i'm going to go ahead and put this on the stove i'm going to get it boiling and i'm going to boil each of the potfuls for about five minutes at a rolling boil i don't add salt or anything i just let it just boil naturally and then after i finished all of that i'll show you when I um, rinse them and everything, so you know what I'm talking about. But after that, what we do is we uh, fry bacon and onions, and you uh, cook this in the bacon grease, and then you pour scrambled eggs over it. So it's almost like, not a quiche, but it could it tastes so good like a quiche. You could make a quiche with this, just like you would um, broccoli or spinach, because it's a green, and it's really good for you. Uh, you can also add cheese to it, and I'll probably do that today, too. So I'll be back as soon as we uh, get this ready to um, rinse again. See you in a minute. Hey guys, well, I'm gonna do the first rinse. I let this boil for five minutes and I've got my colander over here in the sink, right there, ready to go. And I'm just gonna bring this over here and pour it in the colander and just go ahead and uh, Rinse it really good with some cold water. There you go. I think you can see it better. And it just, it really wilts down. Now what, um, 
I'm doing is I'm really boiling out the vitamin A. It's a uh, poke salad is concentrated with vitamin A and it's too concentrated for the human body to eat it as a raw vegetable. But it's fine once you boil it down a few times and rinse it out. But you really want to rinse it. You have to be gentle with this because it is a green and it can tear. I mean, I'll be chopping it later, but I don't want it to be torn. Okay, so let's put that aside, get my pan, and I'm just going to rinse it out real fast, the pan, and fill this up again with cold water, and then we will boil it again. And this will be boil number two, and then we'll do number three, and after we're done with number three, we will uh, go ahead and show you how to use the poke salad as a meal or a side dish. Like I said, you could use it in a quiche if you wanted to. It's really tasty. And foraging is fun on your homestead. You know, and you can uh, do things like that, like the homesteaders did back in the day, the pioneers. I mean, they're the ones that knew how to do all this and taught us how to do this, and it's important if it ever came to a point where you had to find something in the woods to eat. You can certainly do this over a, a campfire. All right, well, we'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. My hair looks kind of crappy, but I've been outside doing stuff. Willis is home, finally off the road today, so we've been outside doing things while I've been waiting for this um, poke salad to get done. So let me show you what I've got. Here's our poke salad right here. It looks like spinach. Go ahead and just bring it up there to the camera. Looks very much like spinach. And I went ahead and I drained it really good and then I um, squeezed it in a paper towel like you would do spinach. And then I just kind of chopped it lightly. That way you don't have any big pieces. Okay, so what else I've done over here is I've got a skillet and I put a little bit of bacon grease in here. I fried um, bacon and it's clearly up to you how much bacon you want. We like a lot. So I believe that was um, five big pieces thick, one whole onion chopped. I've got some butter, which I'm going to put in here with the bacon grease. I just like that. Uh, flavor plus it helps uh, with the, the frying and the smoke point of the bacon and then also I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let this melt down and we'll saute our onion and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, put some cheese in there but I've got some eggs over here I'm gonna go ahead and crack four eggs in a bowl while this is melting and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. I've got everything ready to go. And got my butter and my baking grease. I'm going to just put all of this onion in here. Not the bacon. I'm going to save that for later. I'll put that in after I put the eggs in. Okay. We're going to go ahead and saute that until they're translucent. Oh, it already smells good. I love the, um, the smell of bacon and onions frying together. Man, that's a good smell. Go ahead and turn it up to medium high. And then once this is um, translucent or see-through or whatever you want to call it, where um, they're tender, you're going to put your salad in there, your poke salad, and then we'll put our eggs, salt and pepper to taste, and then we will put our bacon in there and our cheese. Um, what I'm going to use as far as cheese goes, I've got something new Willis brought home. It's called Taco Blend. It's got taco seasoning in it. That's something new. I thought that would be yummy. You can... Um, Put whatever spices you want in this, whatever, if you just want salt and pepper, that's fine. If you want to put anything else in there, you can, because basically poke salad is, uh, it's just a green, and I really 
do reference it like spinach. So it's kind of a real mild flavor. Oh, and one thing I did want to tell you, when you boil it the first go, because you know you got your three times, your uh, first time, it's going to stink because that's just the way it is. Uh, but the second two times, you don't smell anything at all in your kitchen. So I wanted to let you guys know that just in case you're like, oh man, this stinks. I don't think I want to eat this. But believe me, once you rinse it the first time and then you keep uh, boiling it, it's good to go. So as soon as these onions are translucent, we'll be back and do the next step. Okay, I've got the onions where they're translucent and tender. You don't really want them to brown too much because that'll change the flavor. And we are going to go ahead and put our poke salad in here. There you go. And a little jump ship. And we're just going to kind of mix it up in there. And if you guys wanted to try this with any other kind of green, you could. It would taste really good with... Um, Pinto beans, fried tigers. <laughs> I was telling them about greens. You could do this with any kind of green, really. I wouldn't do it with collard greens because that has no flavor. I'm going to go ahead and turn this down to medium. And basically what we're doing is we're just um, kind of spreading this through the onions. Because everything's already cooked in there. I'm going to get you to taste this thing. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our four scrambled eggs in here. And I'm just going to kind of scramble around, you know, like you would scrambled eggs. If you want to make it like an omelet, then you wouldn't um, kind of mess with your egg. That's up to you. And I am going to put some more pepper in here. And a little bit of salt. I'm going to add the bacon. Adding the bacon before the eggs are, are done because I want it to all be in there. Doesn't that look good? Let me see if I can bring this over so you can see it. There you go. Looks really yummy. And like I said, this is, can be a, a meal in itself. You could put this in a, um, excuse me, you could put it in a uh, regular pie. Uh, I, I wouldn't put it in anything but a regular pie crust if you wanted to do that. You could bake it as a quiche. And or you can have it as an omelet or a side breakfast. We're going to have it as a side tonight with uh, some fried chicken. And I'm just going to sprinkle some cheese on here. And I'm going to just let this melt. I'm going to put a lid on it and it will actually uh, cook it. I'll put it down on low. Let me get my lid. That's a trick my mom taught me a long time ago. If you just want your eggs to fluff up, just go ahead and, and put your lid on there. You can turn it down and it will cook the rest of the way. So that is that as far as cooking it. Um, probably another five to seven minutes just like this till the cheese is melted and the eggs will be done. And it will be Good enough to eat so i'll get willis in here and let him try it and see what you think so i'll be right back okay i got willis back in the house so he can taste it i hope you cooked it wrong enough <laughs> you know i did that's what it looks like i got a hundred thousand dollars worth of life insurance <laughs> stop it <laughs> Yeah. That's really good. It's, it is. I use that taco um, cheese. Isn't that good? Yeah. So that's foraging for your poke salad and how we cook it.
Let's hope it's not every. <laughs> hope you guys will give it a try. Thanks for watching for Lazy K Mountain Homestead. Bye.